Hey, this is Dr. Douglas Scarata with the Modern Nose Clinic, and I have a good friend of mine who's a primary care doc. Actually, she specializes in helping people with weight loss. And she said, hey, what do you do with your patients who lose your sense of smell associated with COVID? And so I told her, you know, it pro there's probably a lot of people who would like to know what we do. And just as an FYI, the Modern Nose Clinic, trying to fix medicine one idea at a time. We think medicine costs too much, so maybe this can help a few patients out there to avoid a, an unnecessary appointment to the doctor's office. Now listen, this is not meant as medical advice. You can decide if you wanna go or not. I'm just saying what we might say to an average person who comes in saying, yeah, I had COVID or maybe I didn't have COVID. I don't know, but I lost my sense of smell and taste. One, the first thing is, that sucks, man. Don't, don't give up too easily. There may be things you can do to get it back and we should think about that. So, next. So I'm gonna gloss over the fact that we will look for <clears throat> obviously fixable reasons why that may be the case. Um, you know, if you have polyps, um, if you have a nasal infection, if you have allergies, maybe there's a deviated septum or big turbinate. So those, th those things are fixable and treatable. So let's just pretend that you check those things and you don't have those things. Well then, um, it could be like with COVID, where the olfactory nerve was stunned and it's just not working so well. So we do olfactory retraining olfactory retraining um okay you know that movie about the guy who goes off to the war and the bomb goes off and they can't walk and they get sent back and they get on the parallel bars whatever and they kind of fight and they work until they learn to walk again basically the part of the brain that involved helping them to walk was damaged in that accident they had to retrain another part of their brain to be able to walk we'd like to do the same thing for you but how you'll do it will be different this is what we suggest so when I was a kid, uh, my parents gave me a great childhood. Thanks, mom and dad. Um, I remember we were camping one time down in Florida and um, we pulled over the side of the road and there were some oranges that fell across the fence <clears throat> from an orange orchard onto the ground. My dad picked one up, says, let's eat this for lunch. And I was like, we can't, that's like stealing. He says, no, trust me, it's the other side of the fence. You're never gonna pick it up, let's do it. Oh my gosh, seriously? I had never had such a sweet orange before in my life. It squirted all over my face. It was unbelievable. So you want to associate a memory with an experience with that sense of taste and pull it all together to retrain your brain, to try to, to ignite that olfactory system, get it going again. So somewhere in your house, set up a little thing with lots of different you know, pleasant smells, maybe lemon, maybe orange, <clears throat> maybe mint or cinnamon, mouthwash or different things, uh, maybe coffee. And you wanna smell that coffee while you close your eyes and remember when you're sitting by that campfire, sipping that coffee that one time. So me, for instance, I'd be picturing biting that orange and tasting the orange and it's squirting on my face. And I'd be thinking about that while I'm smelling the orange. Because you want to try to reignite your sense of smell. You want to try to do olfactory retraining. And you could do the same with other smells also. A little bit of advice for any of you all who decide to do this. Don't do a poopy diaper. It's just not worth it. All right, Dr. Douglas Scarada, Modern Nose Clinic. We know your nose.